All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a brother Bolo can well Bolo VNR. <laughs> Um, we are on the 2.0 platform. And Mark G responded to the the threat of a lawsuit. You understand, boy? That the lawsuit filing there got so big. I want to tell you about it. I've got to sue all of Jamaica. Cause everybody a public will say the same thing, and nobody now will end them. But anyway. Make we hear Mark G have to say without any further ado and make me know what you think in our comment section. Listen to this. I remember just speed it up a little bit because I don't know the ball game going on. Yeah, YouTube guidelines. You understand? What do you think? As the president of the People's National Party and leader of the opposition in this country, which is a constitutional position, to hold the government to account. And when I see things are happening or I read from credible sources, things that are going wrong and must be exposed, where there's accountability and people are held to account for their wrongdoings, I have an obligation to speak to it. So the man tells me about the lawsuit. I'm in a business with that. I'm a lawyer. We know them things they got. So Yo, the man say my lawyer, I know them things they go on to you. We are going lawsuit. We are going lawsuit, my friend. Time come, my friend. You know here. Yeah? You come like you know here. Yeah? Time come, spiritually time come, physically time come. You understand? Mentally time come. And you see people man, wake up and raise up and rise up. Hey, hey. you see me, no man. Like and share. Like and share. I'm a hey, no, I, I talk him and say, don't no, keep this to yourself. Guys, please like and share the video. Thank you kindly. Alright. The aim of all of the videos now is to get to 500 likes. As you join in, hit the like button. Comrade MP in waiting for this great constituency of Northern Canada. Comrade councillors, comrade councillor candidates, comrade MP candidates, comrade workers, warriors, foot soldiers, supporters, loyalists of the People's National Party here in Northern Canada. I greet you well. I want to say a word of thanks for inviting me here today to tour this division of Inland Town and to be with you all through the day as we travel the beautiful parts of this wonderful constituency. And I must say to you, Comrade Waven, I love the vibes. I love the vibes of the crowd. May I tell you, the people's response was lovely, powerful, and I feel the energy, and I feel we're ready to take back this thing. And you know, we have a new candidate, Comrade Waver Lines. My love all, the former MP, my brethren, Comrade Harry Stalin. Hey, <laughs> them think they speak for itself, you know. Whoever that man is, people in that constituency have a lot of respect for him, and a lot of love for him. As Mr. Mark Golden called the man, named the whole place up. Hey, it's that lady, yeah? we got the Prime Minister. Hey, 
well, you miss a prime minister, we got Andrew on this, come like we are speaking it into being. Come like you already done. But the lady God cover her and cover her family. We pray God cover her and cover her family. Alright, I pray that she have the spiritual eye and not just the eye of an officer. So she can see the dangers coming for herself being in a such an important position. I pray that this lady eyes are fully open spiritually to those dangers. I will ask the Almighty God to cover her. Because after watching what Alfred Voss said, there's people, you hear, them, you hear, the, you hear the people them make certain statements like a war and they going to take it to the streets, allegedly me here say, um, Mr. Mackenzie say, they're going to take it to the streets, whatever that means. That sounds like a threat. So, we ask the covering for all Jamaicans as a matter of fact. People who just repent here, yeah, man. We need God help. We can't do this without God. The powers that be that want to have their agenda um, put forth and go forth, which is the devil's agenda. Yeah, we can't fight them just beer, so we need the help of the Most High. I understand. So, yeah, big up the officer. Yeah. No, come Hey, look at that E man. Who would have thought that we have lines that in our politics? I sure didn't. I sure did. I've always liked Wavel Hines as a, as a, as a sportsman, but who would have thought? Interesting. Wavel Hines, that man I respect. That man, the international cricket title. I mean, the cricket club. Who to play to? But we see the man quality in many areas of life. The man is a man who he's a man of principle. He's a respectful man. He's a man who behaves himself in a decent way, and he's a comrade to the court. And he has shown me that he is prepared to put party above his personal ambition and in building political capital through those selfless acts that he has demonstrated and he's a deputy general secretary and now he's a candidate for this great constituency of Northern Carinda and I say hail the man! But look how, look how, look how them people are united. More I see unity like this in all fronts in a Jamaica. Because you have a man with it have the post as we get to understand. And now, he give all them blessings. All them blessings to wave lines. At this we need, you know, people. This is what we need. Anyway, this is, at this, this is it. This is what we need. We need God at the head and we need this type of unity behind God at the head of everything that we do. Yeah. Now comrades, as has been said, there was a sad happenings and the counselor, who well, I didn't know personally what everybody said she got up the lady. I don't know if I know that but her husband is a solid comrade. So I mean, she passed out. And the law requires a by-election. He didn't come on the division. Comrades, we did very well in the local government elections across the board in Jamaica. But we didn't win in town. And you must know why that never happened. And I'm saying to you now, we must do what we have to do. Because we have to win back in town. And we know in the past, at all over Jamaica, we in our party, always have something to buy here and little things here and you know what? We can't pass those things now in a the car. Them things they know is old news and stale news. We are moving power with a purpose now. Because we have to save this country for our picnic and our grandchildren too. So I say to you all, let's hold up common vice and a common purpose. And we work together. And we're putting the work 
and build the organization. So whenever this by-election is called, and it, the, the law requires it within 90 days of when it was entered in the minutes of the council, which will probably happen this month. Yes, yeah, so October, November, December. Between now and December, we suppose that it's by-election. Although it might have a general, who knows? But whatever way it's happening, we will be ready for either one. In our Indian town and in every division. So, comrades, we have work to do. But for strength of organization in Indian town, make sure to be ready to deliver the victory. Comrade Dawson, I am relying on you, sir. You know? I am relying on you. Come on. And you've done it before. We you know what you have to do. So, we're going to do it. Comrades, a week is a long time in politics for Chuyama. Imagine we have conference Sunday. It feel like a month ago. Let me tell you, our conference sell out. Everybody has to get a high rating. I want to thank all the organizers who ever that went into it. It was a good look. Yeah, man. International standard of presentation and production. Yeah, man. The people them did come out for us. In their numbers, their tens of their thousands. And comrades, it has given us another boost of confidence. We are ahead of the polls, and now I have articulated a vision for what the next PNP government will do for Jamaica. Focusing on the critical areas of national development that are not being attended to by this Jamaica Labour Party government, and which only a PNP government can bring the right focus and attention and article approach to stop lifting the people and taking us to a higher heights. Part of that is rural development. When I come through and pass through, in and town division, and I see you the roads, the conditional roads, and it's not just here either. So when you go to St. Mary or I go to Trilogy, I see it too. So we have been building some wonderful highways along the coast of this country and through the central part as well. Wonderful. Time come now to uplift the rural areas and put some resources to make life better and more comfortable for our people in their community. And let it be just that, you know. You see, farmer them, I rural areas, the farmer them, they know. The farmer, they need good road. I mean, I talk about some solid road. We chuck on them something and chuck that can champ up on. And then stay firm. Yeah, a them type of road and good, and good, um, we call it now. Irrigation for the water, them. Move and go the way it's supposed to go. All right, Sharon, big up. And then Tuesday, we go to Parliament, and at long last, this report. See it there now. See it there now. And comrades, I spent Tuesday night reading that report. I read every word in that report. Uh, Yo, this a man I read, really like, yeah, yeah, man. You think some me I sit on Tuesday night and read one hundred and seventy-seven page? Report a liar alone of them the talent. The hey, big up Marky G. No backside, no sir. Mm -mm. This man is talented, brother. This man is talented. You have to have certain level of reading skills. If you sit down and read 177 page document all night. I really up I, I really comprehend the detail of the report. So much so for coming next day. I have a press conference. Hey, that brother you yeah, are bad no blows and screw. Sure, I'm not a joke thing, a serious thing. 171 pages of it and the appendices and the other documents that were tabled with it. I know what is in that report. I don't think I know what is know what's in that report. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Yo, shots fired, man. What? Embarrassing. <laughs> he needs some milk. Yeah, shots fired, man. Damn, Andrew. You don't know what's in the report? Come on, man. Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Hmm. Tell about them. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's true. I don't think you know. I have a duty. As the president of the People's National Party mm -hmm. and leader of the opposition in this country, the constitutional position, mm -hmm. to hold the government to account. And when I see things that are happening or I read from credible sources, things that are going wrong and must be exposed, where there's accountability and people are held to account for their own <laughs> I have an obligation 
to speak to it. So the man tell me about the last two. I'm in a business with that. I am a lawyer. I don't know what I'm saying to go. So they bring on me or bring on. We have a talk of the things that we do. Bog side, Marky G get mud pun them. Marky G get mud pun them. Hey, I first never see Marky G match today. Oh, no, see Marky G match. Marky G not, Marky G not tell me not about the last suit, brother. I'm a liar. I know about them things there. You understand? I'm going to talk the things them. <laughs> you got chattings. Alright, two things. First of all, Andrew Hollis has known for over a year that he was one of the illicit six under investigation for the corruption offense of illicit enrichment and he did not come clean with the people. He pretended he wasn't one of them. And it's only when the report itself was tabled that it came out. And I say he has deceived the people. And the people of Jamaica cannot have trust and confidence in a Prime Minister who would hold such important information about his own situation with the Integrity Commission of the country for over a year. He must go. Andrew must go. Fox. With our jokes aside. No, uh, no, seriously, with our jokes aside. What the man just said is everything to the situation. The man know for over a year. And I see. Him doubling down, you know, because it's the exact thing where him say where Andrew wanna say him I go suing both, you know. The man I call the man, brother, the man of business, but where you talk about, brother? The man I talk about where they the report. So you can sue all you know, want to sue. Right? You know look good. And all I JLP people them, we in our government, we sign paper about them, them agree and and, and them are stand by, time come. You guys have fully exposed yourself. The entire JLP government has exposed themselves with that one statement alone. They expose themselves. Is that report? Full of a number of very problematic things mm. that have been a feature of his personal affairs. Talk out to me, Dad. And I don't intend to go through it tonight. Mm -hmm. But we are going to be having a town hall on Sunday night. And we will be going through some of those things. Are we are so we're going to make sure that the people of Jamaica understand what is in that report. Yeah. And why it will require further investigation, which is what has been recommended by the Integrity Commission, and why. Andrew is not worthy of staying in the position of Prime Minister because how he has conducted his affairs is not right. And it has not been in accordance with the high standards of probity, of good governance, of honesty that is required of the person who holds the office of Prime Minister. So we will be continuing to pressure them over this issue. We will be continuing to tell the Jamaican people what the Integrity Commission has found in that report. And if the labor rights decide to rally around and serve to the wab and Bragans, that is their business. Because the Jamaican people will know the truth. And their day must come. Because people are fed up with this country being run in that way. Yes. Pay fast and loose. Yes. With their affairs and the affairs of the country. Yes. So comrades, we are resolute. We will be pressing along in God's own way. Ah. For the benefit of Jamaica. Comrades, I just want to close by saying again, I thank you for the love that you have shown me here today. I thank you for the love that you have shown your party. The word is love. Party. I thank you for the energy and enthusiasm. I thank you for the commitment to the cause that we are pursuing. Mm -hmm. It is a noble mission. It started in 1938. It delivered universal adult suffrage, the right to vote. Is we deliver that to the Jamaican people. Yeah. It delivered political independence and the end of colonialism in that area of life. Is the PNP delivered that for Jamaica? We delivered a whole host of social reforms which have lifted the people, took them out of the colonial mindset and the colonial practices that kept the majority of our people down and raised them up to be full citizens of this land. Is the People's National Party did that? 
and we have work to do because the place has set right yet. And we want to make sure our people have the best possible chance by investing in them, uplifting the education system, uplifting the health care in the country, improving the infrastructure, ensuring that our people are ready for the high value investments that can deliver good jobs, ensuring agriculture is given priority so that our rural roads, our storage facilities, our irrigation systems, and our support to farmers is right where it needs to be so that we can build wealth in rural communities as well as the country as a whole. Yes. So that work to do, comrades. Team. We have a team with experienced people, we have a team with brilliant new people. I'm looking forward to us working hard to take Jamaica to higher heights. But comrades, it's not going to happen until we do the work and deliver the victory. Yeah. Not Clarendon, we are depending on you. We need this constituency back in the column of the People's National Party. Are you ready? To do that? No. I'm not lie. I just me. I'm not, I'm not glazing, but is it just me? Marky G does sound like he have more fire and pep in his speech then. Marky G speech, I'm get better and better, you know. You know notice? Marky G attack with more venom and fire right now, more than ever, you know. You know notice? A momentum, or a momentum a shift. Right? And don't forget, you know, me, I always advocate for UIC, you know, so I'm not really giant. You see, you see the, you see the, you see the, you see the red mark right there, so it don't tell you what time it is. Time come. You no choose the UIC or the PMP, but you no don't know what go on over that side. Eh? No, we not really work with that side. Eh? You understand? The only well thinking options that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is the UIC or the PMP. So big up both sides. Time come. Time come. I have every confidence that you're serious and that you're ready and you're committed. And I know that we will be victorious. Victory, power to the people. Tell a boy, time coming, a man. Time coming, a man. Time come. People don't make me know all the thing. You know, it go. Another one, another one for post. Another one recorded. You understand? I'm big up to the people in the live chat. We are sharing the journey. You understand? Bless upon yourself.